with the rewards in Genshin Impact sucks big time. Sucks like Kirby so bad that you could grind for months and still come out empty handed unless you spend the money. What is up guys? Vintage Plays here bringing you guys a TOF video and we're going to talk about free to play friendly, right? Tower Fantasy in my eyes is currently free to play. I mean, I did say currently, but currently it's free to play. And I decided to do this video because of a discussion that I had with another viewer on a YouTube video and brother, 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 brother stated how you don't get enough to pull for limited time character banners and that was his reasoning behind the game not being free to play friendly and i do understand that the window of pulling for specific character banners are shorter compared to other games however i have a few issues about that look i played genshin impact for two years yeah i went down that rabbit hole and I have spent one thousand dollars, one thousand Dolores down the drain, throws and bras. And the only way I could get those, get about what four or five, five stars, was by, you guessed it, spending the money. And half the time, I didn't even get the fifty-fifty, so I didn't get the five-star character that I wanted. So being free to play in Genshin sucks so darn bad and what made matters even worse is how you have to pull from weapon banners to try and get the best possible outcome for the characters that you get so it's like you gotta choose are you gonna try to pull for the weapon too or just the character so and don't get me started with those freaking rewards dude the rewards in genshin impact sucks big time sucks like kirby so bad that you could grind for months and still come out empty handed unless you spend the money. So, I mean like Tower of Fantasy, I feel that the game gives us a lot of black and gold nucleus through exploration and completing tasks. You can literally get four or more standard SSRs, even potentially star some of them as a free to play player let me show you what i have on my account i have a subasa one star subasa right i have a meryl one star meryl i have a frig no stars because i'm free to play and that was a limited banner character that i wanted she's just hella fun to play that's why i got her unlimited dash in the frosty domain love that spit Oh, uh, Coco Ritter, another standard five star. And I also got her one star through getting her um, as a duplicate when pulling on the gold banner, right? Um, then I have Zero. I'm on the fence about what I want to do with Zero right now. Zero looks fun to play to me, but at the same time, I don't feel I really need to use him yet since I got Coco Ritter starred. She's an amazing support. So, I don't feel like I need to waste my resources. As a free-to-play player, I do have to be careful of how I use my resources. So, I'm just going to keep them you know, on the sidelines for now until something happens. Hey, maybe I might wind up randomly getting two more dupes and wind up getting two stars on them or something like that. I, that may convince me to give them an extra shot. You know what I mean? But I'm not done because I got humor. <laughs> and I'm hearing a lot of good things about humor. So I want to one star her which is possible since I got, I'm going to be getting enough uh, weapon currency to uh, get a duplicate without having to waste any um, gold nucleus trying to get a duplicate. So that's amazing. That's a great resource as a free to play player. So I mean, this is, this is just to give you an idea. You know, I got a bunch of SSRs, bro.
I mean, it's free to play. It's crazy cool. So, <clears throat> let me fix my throat because I'm suffering from Corona right now. Um, not to mention that whenever you fail to get a limited uh, character from banners, the weapon currency that you get uh, will be converted into a uh, weapon currency for your gold banner, which will allow you to star up your favorite standard SSR units without spending more black and gold nucleus. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that cool? I mean, let's talk about how they work. Now, black using uh, summoning on the black nucleus banner, I mean, the chances of getting a standard SSR is pretty low. What was it? 0.5%? Something like that. Pretty darn low, but it is possible. I think I managed to get one or two like that. I know that's how I got some of the stars on my uh, SS standard SSRs. Uh, not only that, but when you summon on the gold nucleus banner, you actually have hard pity. So you can easily keep track of when you're going to get that hard pity for standard SSR, like a guaranteed standard. Now, it hasn't been confirmed if limited time characters are going to be added to standard yet, so we just have to wait and see. But despite that, I mean, we're getting a lot, you know as uh, free-to-play players here you know based on the facts that I just shared with you all um, let me scroll up just look at that male one star bro. <laughs> she's great by the way I love that character she she works wonderfully now it's hard to get limited banner characters due to the shorter window to pull yeah that sucks I get it but at the end of the day, this is still a gotcha game. You know, oh, it isn't free to play friendly because it's very hard to get limited characters. Oh my God. No, stop. Stop your complaining. This is a gotcha game and gotcha games are out to make money. Catering to the will of free to play players, bruh, that's not really, um, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? It's not really their biggest concern. I'll just put it that way, right? So, but I feel as though Tower of Fantasy is giving players plenty because they could have went the MiHoYo route and make it hard to obtain anything remotely good. I mean, imagine playing with only SRs. Let that sink in. Just think about that for a minute. I don't know if it is we're still in like this honeymoon phase or not because i never played the cm version um i'm not sure how consistent tower fantasy is going to be with the rewards only time will tell but so far things look great i love it so far it's great to me now to completely disregard standard ssrs is absolutely ridiculous to me I mean, I know limited characters are better, but I, but they're harder to get because of the fact that this is a gotcha game. I cannot stress that enough. But as a free-to-play player, you have to be careful. Because once again, there may be a limited SSR that you like, but what's the point of pulling for a limited SSR that would suck without a one star especially if you was pulling for a specific ability that's actually locked behind the star so let's take claudia for example right uh claudia has a buff that is really good right for your team but but the thing is that buff is locked behind stars so you got to ask yourself as a free to play player, what are you pulling her for? Now, if she looks amazing and you love the look. She has that as that as death look, which a lot of people point out, including myself. And I was so tempted to pull. But guess what? I found out that her buffs is locked behind stars and being free to play is going to be hard to pull two Claudias without spending extra green so I mean what should I do I would prefer to 
save my resources by storing the Shiro that I have on my other account and wait for Lint. I mean, I feel like that's the more reasonable thing to do. I mean, yeah, I love her look, but I was hoping to get some kind of buff because it, on my other account, I don't necessarily have the DPS that I'm really looking for, so I gotta think about those things being free to play. I mean, I am playing to have fun, but at the same time, there are needs that you may have. And Lynn looks hella fun to play. I looked at her gameplay um, on the CN server, and dude, she looks freaking fun to play. Even more fun than Claudia, bruh. I'm just saying. So, us free-to-play people gotta plan out everything. And we can do that by watching videos and saving. Plus, we gotta figure out what it is we want. Do we like the aesthetic of the character? Aesthetic. You see what I did there? Or do you need something from that character? Does the character need stars in order to get that something that you want? Do you want to pull a character because they're fun to play? I mean, we can watch videos of those who have experience with the Chinese servers to help us make a decision that will help us enjoy the game, because the most important thing is enjoyment. At the end of the game, <clears throat> excuse me, at the end of the day, you gotta find enjoyment in Tower Fantasy Train. Be quiet. If you can't find it through planning and patience, if you cannot find that enjoyment in Tower of Fantasy as a free-to-play player, then just get the hell out. That's all I can really say about that. Now, as long as Tower of Fantasy stays consistent with the rewards, I feel like free-to-play would be okay. Because I feel like so far it's pretty outstanding. Um, so, only time would tell. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscription button for more Tower of Fantasy content. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Peace and God bless and thank you guys for your support.